<laughs> We're filming, by the way. Oh, wait, we are. <laughs> yeah. Aloha, sprinklerinos. My name is Louise. I make new videos on a Monday and Thursday, so do subscribe. And today, I'm doing an explosive interview. <laughs> Today with Radzi. Radzi, tell us why you're special. Hello. I mean, there's lots of reasons why you're special, but what's probably the most exciting thing straight away to viewers? I am a Blue Peter presenter. Ta da! A bona fide Blue Peter presenter. Put your hands up if you watched Blue Peter when you were little or still watch it now. If I put your hands up, you might have to write hands up in the comments with the little like stars on each side so I know that you did it. I actually went on Blue Peter a while ago yes. in January, wasn't it? Yeah, you did. And it was like the most exciting day ever and it was talking about vlogging because Radzi is a YouTube fanboy. And since Razzy was kind of to have me on his show, I was like, come be on my show. So when I went on Radzi's show, a Blue Peter, I was given this little badge, ta-da. So I thought since you're coming on my show, you could have a badge that says sprinkle. Amazing. Window. Right, I'm wearing that. Thank there you. you. Go. And I'll put this well. Actually, don't put your badge on. Okay. Because we might use it for something. Because if we turn to the side here, ta-da. Yes. Um, I thought it might be interesting to ask you about being a presenter because okay. I think a lot of viewers would be interested to know how does that happen because often we just watch people doing this job yeah. and we don't know anything about it so we thought I would ask you guys what you would like to know from Razzi so we're on Facebook and Twitter most of these are from Facebook because Sprinkle Bit of Facebook has reached over a million likes High five! Oh, I was about to pin you Yeah! So thank you to you and we are going to pop a balloon you pop it, okay. and then I'll read you the question, but I will say, I hate these, I hate popping things and loud bags. Okay, right. <laughs> Do you want to use the Blue Peter badge? Do you know what, on this one, I can't... I, doesn't bend open no, as much, does I don't it? want to break it. Do you want to try and, get, try and sneak that onto my clothes somewhere for Blue Peter? <gasps> and if I do, I'll, I'll tweet you and try Wait. and keep it... If you do, yeah. you should tweet on your Twitter account, which I'll link below, Yeah. you should tweet a code word that day, and then you can tweet it and then everyone that's watched this will be following on Twitter and will know the code and it'll be our secret. Okay, so I won't, I won't tell Blue Peter that I'm doing that. No, I'm don't. I'm just going to try and sneak it on just before okay. live. <laughs> I really love then, this idea a lot. And then I know the guy in charge of costume, Lee, is going to go... What's that? What's, what's he wearing? And I'll say, nothing. Nothing. What's the code word? Okay, the code word is going to be... Go on. Glitter. Done. Okay, so on my Twitter... Yeah. So that's linked below. Raz's right, Twitter account. Go and follow it. And then one day, I'll put hashtag glitter. Okay, I'm so ready for this. And then we can all tune in and see. It's on Thursdays, 5 p.m., isn't it? Yes, CBBC. CBBC. Okay, are you ready? You you can pop it. I can't. I already. This is already it's a silly be idea. This is already a silly idea. I really hate it. <laughs> okay. Helen says, "How do you get over nerves? Does imagining people naked actually help?" Do you know what? <laughs> that is something I've, I've tried that. It doesn't work for me. I Don't think me. <laughs> that if you... No, I'm going to have one. I'm going to have a bit as well. Um, cheers, chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. I think for me, you have to always think about essentially what you're doing and why you're doing it. And you're probably doing it because you love something about it. So whether yeah. that be, say, sports day race or a performance on stage, or anything, you probably are doing it initially because you just love being on stage or you love performing. That's true. And so kind of get into the heart of why you're doing it and thinking, do you know what? It's because I used to give little plays for my parents when I was three and that's what's led to me now doing this That's a nice school. way to think or, about yeah, it. Yeah, so try and think about why you're doing it and then believe in yourself because you can do it really, you know you can. That is a great answer. I liked that one. Question. We have, uh, from Twitter, we have, at Really Maria, have you ever been starstruck whilst presenting? I thought this was an interesting one, because you must yeah. meet some cool people. Yeah, I have actually. Who? Okay, so I interviewed an astronaut. <gasps> oh my god, okay, I'd be starstruck. Bloody love astronauts. Right, so I was sat there the entire time, and all I thought is, you've been in space. Yeah, which you, astronaut was it? There's a guy called Chris Hadfield, he's a Canadian okay. guy. And then... So I was struggling to get my words out, and it was kind of one of those where you start a question, and I go, so Chris, uh, you, um, uh, you, uh, are you, and I don't know why you gulp, but you start, you gulp, I gulp when I'm nervous, look, which doesn't help. Nice, nice. And then I actually said to him, as we gave him his badge, 
he couldn't get. He said, um, Radzi, I can't get this contraption to work. And I said, Chris, it's not rocket science. Nice. That was, what a glorious moment. That is amazing. I, that, uh, yeah. I'm gonna clap for that. Okay, give it, give a big one. <laughs> He's allowed. <laughs> Just FYI, Springfields, I'm sat on a. Ch I'm gonna show you the chairs. It's a small chair. That I sit on to film these videos. <laughs> these are children's chairs, and I'm not child size, so I I have the fear every time. Also, I'm shocked at this. Yeah. This is actually a real bedroom. This <laughs> yeah, is Louise's bedroom. They know. Yeah. Oh, do they know? Yeah. Okay. Because I I have to say I thought it was a set when I'd seen you on YouTube. That's this how good real. my bedroom is. This is my real bedroom. What you can't see is what we can see, which is just mess everywhere. <laughs> I like mess. Big pink one. Pink one? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ah! Yeah. Oh, Every caught it. Time. Caught it. That means it's a lucky okay, one. Okay, in that case, this is the star question. This is a Twitter question. This is Esme says, what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you during filming? Now, I will say, we actually turned the camera off and had a little chat about this earlier, but perhaps you don't want to tell those stories. We did, we had lots of very good, <laughs> very good stories. Maybe off camera stories. I reckon the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened, so one time I forgot the name of a band that I had to introduce, that was pretty embarrassing. One time I've slipped over on live TV, properly, properly slipped over. What were you like? Because when I came on, you were on rollerblades. Was it something like that, or did you just fall over your feet? So it was really muddy, right. and I, uh, <laughs> so I was running across some grass. Right. And as I went to stop, mm -hmm. I tried to style it out. And as I went to kind of stop and turn mm -hmm. really cool, I went stop, and my legs carried on going. Whoosh, oh, I hope they left that in. Oh, that was it. It was live. Oh, it was live. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> <sighs> it jumped up and hit me in the face. Did it? <laughs> yeah. Um, Genevieve or Genevieve says, a few people have mentioned that I'd be good at TV presenting. How do I get into it? Do it first of all. Do it. I. What would be a first step for Genevieve? Let's say she's maybe at school or she's in the workforce. Like, what should she? What would be the first thing she should do? First thing you should do is get a camera of any size on your phone, whatever, and record yourself doing stuff. And if you like it, then I'd suggest go to events that don't have presenters. So I, when I was trying to get into TV, I went to lots of events with a camera. Got, what sort of events? So there were expos I went to, which were all at the NEC. So there were sports events where I could meet athletes, or you could go to an award show, like not a big award show necessarily, but. Um, or perhaps there's a, a sports tournament somewhere. And it I suppose it's such a good idea because you can just buy tickets and go to that, can't you? Right, yeah. and then you meet people, and if you meet somebody like yourself, you could literally just say, Louise, I'm doing a little thing for my school, could I ask you one question on camera? And one question I think most people would say... I think, yeah, I think if someone can ask you a few questions, if I was a rush, I might be like, oh, sorry, I'm in a rush, but if it was one question... Right, yeah. exactly. And then you ask that question, you then get your answer, and if you can ask more, fantastic, if not, move on to the next one, and just try and get as much experience as you can. So I spent loads of time. I was a mass What did you do with all that footage? Did you send that to anyone? Did you put it anywhere? So I put it all together into a showreel mm -hmm. and I sent it around loads of different TV channels and loads of different. I mean, it took me three years of working for free basically to get my opportunity in TV. But that was me meeting lots of people, sending my show to lots of people, going to lots of events, trying to present. Sometimes it was in front of a crowd for free, sometimes it was me to my friend's camera. But it was all about trying to get on video me presenting. So really, anyone could do that anyone because can. you didn't have to wait for someone to come to you. You went out there and you're like, right, I'm going to interview people, and then kind of made it yourself. Yes. Made your own, made your own kind of CV really, like a video CV, and then sent it off. That's I think the biggest gap in the market, premieres, because yeah. you can apply and say, I'd like to have media tickets. And if you've got a camera and you with a microphone, off you go. Yeah. And if you've got it's even a phone, it. you can just, you can interview actors and actresses. And even if you get- Or even if you don't get media tickets, often at premier, premieres, viewers come and they just come and watch. You could be there. If someone stopped me and were like, oh, can I ask you a question? I'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah. That's great advice. So there you go. But basically don't give up. And if you think you can do it, keep it. It took me three years. 
and I got yeah. my break, so you can get your break as well. On my phone it says, this is my screen lock, good yeah. things come to those who hustle. I love that, go. I love that. Trust that what you're talking about is interesting, you're onto a winner, and if it is boring, just move on. That's what I do with my most boring videos, Ratsy. Speaking of which. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Right. Thank you very much for coming on. I said Thank coming you. on. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming to my house for the first time and coming up to my bedroom. <laughs> it's always a weird moment, by the way. This is like a stop the video and talk to you for a second. Bit weird when like someone new comes to your house. Like obviously we know each other, we've not been here. Like, come on up to my bedroom. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's my actual bedroom. Thanks for being here no. on my channel. It's, awesome it's being been here. a pleasure. Also, in case you're interested, not only is Razzi a BBC Blue Peter presenter extraordinaire, but he is just starting his very own channel. Yes. Called Afro Chauffeur. Afro Chauffeur. I okay. won't tell you any more about it, but it is linked below. It's the second script the second thing in the description. So go and check it out. We've done a video on there which I think is going to be excellent. Absolutely. I, I hope know you it like will it. Be. Um, so go and show it some love because it's the first ever video, so you could be the one. first people to come on this channel and the first subscribers, which would be really cool. Um, and I'm sure you'd appreciate it as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I look forward to seeing you there. I hope that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's lots of links for you below to check out and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye-bye!